Hello and welcome to the Sky via Data Flow series. Today's topic is source component. We will demonstrate you how source works and will provide you with examples of how to effectively use it in your data integrations. Every data flow starts with a source component. It executes a query to get data from a data source that will later be used by other components. Source reads data in batches of 2,000 records at a time, ensuring optimized data retrieval. To work with data flow, you need an active connection to a data source. It can be any connection except a file storage. You can use source or target demo database to practice. The source component allows you to get data with the help of actions. There are two main actions available, execute command and execute query. Let's check both of them. The first one is execute command. It allows you to get data by writing in SQL query in the built-in query editor. Let's use it to get all customers' data from the source demo database customers table. Click on the source component. Select your source demo DB connection. Select execute command action. Click open in editor. Enter select all from customers command. You can preview the results of your query executions by using preview by query. Let's set the filter to include only customers located in Barcelona and check how the preview changes. To do so, add the following line to your query and go back to preview by query. You can always use a pre-built query from our gallery or a previously saved custom query by clicking on add from. If you have no SQL knowledge or you are better at perceiving things visually, you can create the same query with the help of execute query action. It provides you with options to visually build your query instead of using SQL commands. Let's do it right now. Click on the source component. Select source demo database connection and choose execute query action. Click open query builder. To select all customer records, drag customers table from the left pane to the result fields area. To apply a filter by city, click on the customer's table to open it and drag city field to the filters area. Then, enter the city name to the filter box on the right. In addition to execute command and execute query actions, source component provides custom actions for specific connectors. For example, the Salesforce connector has a run report action. Let's try it right now. Select Salesforce as your connection and choose Run Report Action. To tell Salesforce which report to run, choose it from the list of reports. When building your query, you can use SQL parameters to create dynamic and flexible queries that can be executed multiple times with different values without the need to rewrite the entire query each time. You can do that by using both Execute Command and Execute Query Actions. For example, you can create the following request while using execute command action. Or choose customers as result fields and apply a city filter and assign a city parameter to it by using the parameters box. In both cases, city parameter will appear in the list of action parameters. You can assign constant and dynamic values to the action parameter. You can map it to a constant value. You can map it to a function that calculates values or transforms your data. You can map it to a variable or an integration parameter that stores values in variables between data flow runs. To check the output of the source component, click on the schema tab. Here you can check the list of fields returned alongside the field data types. To check the field data type, hover your mouse over the icon to the left of the field name. Some fields can contain nested data. This data will also be available on the schema tab. To update the output schema, you need to modify your select query. For example, as we use the select all statement, we receive all the fields from the customer's table. 
If you are interested in company name and city fields only, change your query to select company name and city from customers. So far, we've covered all the source component basics. In case of any questions or clarification requests, feel free to leave comment to this video. Thank you for watching and have a great day.